Well, thank you, Rodriguez Jr., for joining me on this, uh, the first episode and tour night of the one-on-one -on -one tour. My pleasure. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Good to be here, and uh, that's, I'm very happy to, uh, to kick in the tour with you. So I'm very, um, very happy to be here. You know, you're doing live sets now. More, that's more your thing is you're doing live sets yeah. more consistently than DJing. Yeah. How has that been like that transition for you? I used to DJ before though, like in, in like 15 years ago with my previous band, The Youngsters. Used to play vinyls, techno music and stuff. But at some point, I don't know, I had the feeling that I should focus on the live stuff and I, I, I was more comfortable with that. It was easier for me to connect with the crowd and um, and also the people expected me to play live at some point. So, you know, it's never a good feeling when you when you show up in a club with a, with a stick and people are disappointed even before you start to play, you know? So yeah. I was well, like, okay, let's focus on what people expect. And I like it. For me, that's like, um, I'm used to that. That's a nice, it's a nice experience. Do you, when you're playing here in the States compared to, to Europe, do you tend to make your sets in a different way or...? or it, yeah, yeah, definitely, of course, of course. I mean, every gig is different. It's like a DJ, actually. The, the, the thing is that you must connect with the crowd and, and create a moment. That's the thing. So it, it has to be different all the time. You know, coming from France, is there anybody in that scene that you've seen coming up like recently that people should be starting to pay attention to? Like a new talent? Like a new talent, yeah. So I kind of try to um, protect myself of of like checking too much music and or, you know going on to the board or even record shops, I, I I kind of stay like in a in my safe, safety box, trying to avoid having too um, too many inputs. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. I kind of lose the connection with what I'm doing. But the new generation, uh, yeah, no, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling so bad. No, right no, now. that's bad. <laughs> right. oh, we'll there are that probably some there are probably some very talented uh, people but, in France apart from me. <laughs> Welcome to the second night of the uh, Worthy One on One tour. And I got Dom here from the Stanton Warriors, who has been a good friend of mine for a couple years now. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and tonight, though. <laughs> so, yeah, we're here in, uh, where we are? We're Dayton, Ohio tonight. Let's talk about the, your meme game, man. It seems like you're always on point with just throwing up, like, the, the best memes, like, out of any, out of anybody in the, like, in the scene. <laughs> My meme game. You know, that's a lot of boredom in airports, sat there. You put Facebook on, you feel kind of uh, mischievous. It's just finding memes or making memes or videos or content so that our, our Facebook page is not just about um, music, which it is as well, but also some entertainment as well. Yeah. We'll take ourselves too seriously and having fun. So what do you like more of the, like, I feel like you always have like, Either like a dance, like a dancing kid from like Africa, or like, or like a dancing bird. Great or something. dancing panda, <laughs> sing it to new beat. You get millions of hits. You put up another tune to SoundCloud link, you get three hits. <laughs> so like, hmm, you end up searching for dancing pandas or whatever. You guys always seem to be like you're in really, really good spirits um, when you guys are playing. Is there anything that really ticks you off? People leaning over the decks with like a drink, trying to sort of tell you something. Obviously, A, you can't hear them because like, you know, DJ and speakers. And B, they drink precariously over the CDJs or whatever. It can put you on edge a little bit. I'm thinking that person's going to and the whole thing's yeah. going to blow up and lock yeah. that booth off and, you know, the crew only and that's it. Yeah. And have a nice bit of distance from the decks. Not that much, but somewhere where they can't touch the decks or put a cable out. Let's talk about punks, I guess, for, for a minute. We do punks as a kind of way to have to artists who are like sort of similar aligned to us, like in sound. We can sort of bring them in sort of one kind of stable. Um, I feel like the sort of dirty bird thing, you know. So yeah. Like minded souls making kind of tunes, and uh, but yeah, in the last uh, last year especially, sort of bumped up. We've got loads of music coming from um, lots of different types of people um, who wouldn't normally associate a breakbeat. It's just nice to have that kind of hub of uh, creativity. And now, but now it's come to the point where we can sort of do punks parties and punks events and. So yeah, it's kind of like a it's own kind of engine of, uh, of uh, music. I think these days having your own label is really important, having your own sound is really important, and then to bring those elements together is just kind of the way Do you play really differently compared to how you play in like the UK to how you play in the States, or is it like pretty similar? Um, you know what, it's pretty similar actually. Um, if I was playing at a real Basically, garage night in, in England, maybe it's a bit more English. What's the biggest challenge for you being on the road? 
The biggest challenge for me being on the road. Um, well, sleep's always at a, pre a premium, right? But apart from that, I think um, keeping stuff relatively fit. You know, yeah. like, if I go to hotels, I've got a swimming pool and stuff, even if it's just I'm tired, I'll just do something. Just, otherwise, you just end up just sat in a hotel room eating mac and cheese, room service, or whatever, and you start to get sluggish and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but by the end of the tour, you're like, Especially in America, I just end up getting fat in America because you eat all this food yeah. and everyone's like, taking up dinner yeah. and stuff. And yeah, cool. cool. Got dinner. Thank you. Yeah, let's go get some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? We're on night three of the Worthy 101 tour here in New Orleans with my friend Unicorn Fucker, who <laughs> runs Church, which is probably the longest running um, electronic music night in New Orleans at this moment, I, I think. Yeah, when I think you say so. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, at least that's still in existence, I believe. Uh, yeah. I there might have been a longer weekly in the past, but. <laughs> yeah, still longest one going, still long yeah. going. So. At this moment, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> How did your name come about? Because <laughs> I think you told me this before, but I, I don't remember. Enough, I, I wish I had like a really good story <laughs> for it, but it's like, I <laughs> like before That's I ever played <laughs> in clubs, I was just like playing a friend's house party or something, and 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 there was a, a friend of mine. Uh, uh, his name is Mike Fiducia, and he, you know, we were just fucked up and and somehow I think it was originally he started with Ernesto the unicorn killer and Ernesto it just evolved from killer. there and eventually uh, another friend uh, my friend the real Steven was uh, came up with unicorn fucker and that's way funnier than unicorn killer and then yeah. so by the time I was like invited for my first club gig uh, you know these guys everybody was, was calling just, well they were just <laughs> telling That's everyone this is your name and I really yeah. had no choice yeah, you have no so cho the you whole have no unicorn fucker thing is not my fault <laughs> and uh, but it uh, <laughs> I mean it just started as a joke and you know, I never took any of it seriously so so yeah that that's really it just kind of started out of, out of drunken stupidness and, and, it, and it stuck and I just rolled with it and so have you got uh, any uh, like really cool <laughs> <laughs> have you got any like good like fan like gear from like oh, that? Man. From people? I, Probably so, a bunch of it. <laughs> I mean not, I get like any unicorn meme, anything unicorn related on the internet, like I've I've seen it, I've had yeah. it sent to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I get, you know, oh my god, the gifts from people are funny. Like I, at one point I had a giant stuffed unicorn that would come out to parties with us and I didn't realize how pervasive unicorns were in popular culture oh, man. until this huge. name and then unicorns it was like I mean they're unicorns. like up there with like cats on the internet you know oh, it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's 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 it was nice. it's crazy but um I think my favorite thing is uh, uh somebody got me from one of my birthdays there's a, an artist here in New Orleans who was like making these stuffed animals but she made it it's a stuffed animal but it's got like these it's got all the holes so yeah. it's, it's like a sex doll, oh, it's a unicorn sex doll, <laughs> unicorn sex you know, doll. but it's felt, so like I don't think uh, you'd really want to fuck it because, you know, that's rug burn in the worst place possible, <laughs> but you can, you know, get your fingers in all those holes, and one thing I did do is I filled it, with, I filled it up with uh, 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 rainbow glitter, and so, you know, when people are over my house, a natural inclination when you see a unicorn sex doll is to finger bang it. You know, just you just you gotta see what, what whoa, can what you really get yet? in there? And then when they pull their finger out and there's rainbow glitter all over their <laughs> fingers, and they're like, well, that makes sense. You know, that's that's what would that's happen. Exactly that's, what would that's, happen. That's, that I makes sense. <laughs>